morning guys, welcome to today. Today, we are back with Always Gabby. Always Gabby on YouTube, also known as Mouthy Gabby. No, I mean Braddy Gabby. No, Kathy, are you in coffee today? No. This is regular Gabby, she's back. She's back with us. She enjoyed two days Except away, three days away with her friend Kaylee, also known as Painted Dreams on YouTube, if you guys want to check her out. Um, anyway, she's back and she is going to help me with chores this morning and today is Friday and today's the day I'm going to announce our biggest giveaway ever. You guys are probably thinking like ever, what do you mean you never did a giveaway? We used to do giveaways, but it was always kids that won and they could never get the prizes, so it was hard to do. But today, we're gonna change all that, and you guys are gonna get the opportunity to win one of the coolest prizes ever. Uh, the video's probably already up as an extra video. Go check it out if you want a chance. We are a small community, so your chances are high to win this. She only loves you if you weren't. You only love her if she's pretty. Is that what you're trying to say? No, but it's strange seeing her forelock curly one in. It's because it isn't ever it's because she's been kicking up her heels and running, getting some nutrition. Our arena's turning into a big, huge hayfield, big, huge, disgusting arena. But that's okay. Spring is coming. Sam's gonna drag this whole thing. We'll scoop it. It will be able to clean it. We just gotta wait story of my life wait 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 but any of you guys who go and look at our giveaway video you will not have to wait long to find out if you won because it's gonna be drawn in two weeks I'm not heading for the stars driving down the boulevard at night playing co play on repeat watching people on the street as I go by to go and I'm gonna hit the road tonight now my wheels in motion and my Gracie out sometimes when we clean stalls and then we rotate with Willow because they like to run free. My tripod is missing. By themselves. Yeah, by themselves. We don't want That's any fighting. Disgusting. She's like, turn around here. So, it's, or she can. She's a pony. One of my big regrets is that we never really got to spend too much time playing with Gracie and Gracie is such a fun pony. Like, you guys have never really got to see how amazing she is. Like she's such a quirky, funny horse that no no other horse is like. Gracie's the one in the group that no other horse is like. In terms of horse friends, she has none. No horse friends like her. I like her. Gabby loves her. And a lot of you guys probably like her too. So if no other horse people really seem to like Gracie, but we love Gracie and you love Gracie, that means that she is lovable and likable and valuable and amazing, right? Valuable, valuable yep, and amazing, right? And it's the same with us. Just because you don't fit where you are right now in life doesn't mean that you're not valuable and amazing and lovable. Basically, everybody has a place that they belong and your only job in life is to find that place. And it is not still a stall. It's not. Sky stall, you do not belong in there. If you feel like you don't belong where you are, just keep waiting. Sometimes life is all about waiting. Waiting and looking and searching because you guys, you will find it. The only- A lot of waiting and searching are totally different, but you put them in the same 
but you wait and you search. You wait while you're searching. It's always a big, huge waiting game to find out where you belong. The only real way to do, to find out where you belong though, is to follow your own passions, follow your own dreams, follow your own individual personality, because that's where, it, that's what is gonna lead you where you belong. If you are following along with your friends, then you're gonna end up where your friends are going and that might not be where you're meant to go. So follow your own dreams, guys. Stay true to you. Loves a big scratch. If you if you rub her, if you scratch her just right, she turns her whole body right into you and gives you like the best hug. Oh, so nice. Oh, isn't she such a cute baby? You are such a cute baby. Oh yes you are. Yes you are. I just love her. You could literally sit on the ground with this pony and she'd just be so sweet and kind to you. What about Gracie? Yeah, Gracie too. I'll sit on the ground right by her feet. Yeah. She's like, leave my hair alone. Walk away. Hi. Hi. How are you? She's like, what are you doing down there? Yeah, she's like, I'm so confused. Don't run me over. <laughs> she's like attacking Willow. I'm just like, no. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. I like to leave the door open in the daytime when the ponies are locked inside because it's nice and bright and sunny outside. You'll be okay. We'll be back at lunchtime. We'll be back at lunchtime and you can go out. Bye, princess. Bye, princess. I think Gabby left me. I think she tried to sneak away. I bet, yeah. I have like so much footage that I wasn't able to put in any of our videos. So I'm gonna show you what happened with the saddle fit. So basically, when you buy a new saddle, um, custom made the company comes before you oil it before you do any changes to it they come and they make sure that it's okay they want you riding it and some people some of you guys have had some questions about the size of our saddle and the way that our saddle fitter uh, picked for Sophie why he picked that stuff so anyway I'm gonna put all that stuff right now in this vlog so that you guys can see it before we get further on in our vlogs because tomorrow we have some crazy stuff happening it's the way it's supposed to be. So he responded favorably. Yeah, nice. In it, he did fine. Mm -hmm. He did fine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm very happy. He liked it. Yeah. Well, that's well, well balanced. The panels are sitting nicely on the back everywhere. Like you, you so this is buffalo and this is grain for anybody who's curious because I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, this is buffalo. <laughs> and buffalo's dark, right? Well, it's just as more grippy and uh, yeah. it is a little darker, yeah. Yeah, so the stirrups may never go exactly. Can I get stirrups? Well, you probably can if you oil them with the uh, oil, uh, oil foot. Neat feet? Neat foot oil. Yeah, so we have that. Dip it in a bag of plastic okay. overnight. It may get as dark as this. Oh, all right. We'll do that today then. Oh, that's, that's pretty neat. It's yeah, it's really pretty. I like it. Yeah. Why are you being a butthead? Special FX. Okay. Special effects, that's his name. He wants to be a champion. Right. Is that you? Special effects? Do you remember that name? So so he says we take these home and we and we soak them overnight in a bag of neat's feet oil. Yeah, that would darken them up a lot. It'll dark them darken them up a lot. 
Somebody said that if we use an oil that didn't come from the company, that it wrecks your saddle. That's, yeah, because it will probably uh, eat up the sewing. You be careful. Okay, so what about these then? No, but it's not quite this. It's, I mean, you, you talked to me about uh, oil, neat oil foot is good for um, all the tack, like all the bridling. The leather is a little different. Pardon? Did the trainer? Oh yeah, yep. Okay. She was happy with it? Yep. Absolutely. It's important for the professional to see if the horse is she said, the same way. Yeah, yeah. Can we move on as before? I could wait for a thousand Does she need a half pad to make this more comfortable for our horse? Okay, so yes, the saddle sits on the horse correctly. Yes, we are happy to everything with everything we see. Though, there are some imperfections that you cannot see by the human eye. Yeah, that and, makes sense. And yes, a little half sheepskin pad or some sort of different pad. No, but the, the reality is even if a saddle fits well, yeah. there is some features that the saddle doesn't provide that yeah. the pad does provide. That's a really good point. Well, it's not just about fitting, it's about temperature and it's about how uh, when you work a horse longer, the sweat and the heat, uh, it would, a pad would keep the airflow between the saddle and the horse back, where if you don't, you don't have any. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So what kind of saddle, half pad, or, or what, what do I need then? Well, there's different opinions on that, different views, um, but a little half sheepskin pad with natural material and high density is always very good. Um, gel pads are great as well uh, for different reasons, but on a horsemanship level, yes, they absorb some of the uh, uh, sure pressure when you jump, but to my opinion, it absorbs also the seat aid so you don't transmit to the horse. Oh, that would be my five cents on it. <laughs> yeah, so that's important. So you're saying that the gel pad does that? That would be my horsemanship opinion. What do you mean? Like, so if I'm going to buy something like that, what like it just looks like a gel, like it'll say gel pad. Yeah, it will say pad made out of gel or gel pad. There is different brands that carry those. So. Okay, that's good to know. So, uh, the rep said that the saddle was really good. Did you, and you love it? Yeah. Okay. Jump down, sister. Oh, I'm cold. Hurry up. <laughs> good job. So this is it. So we get to take it home now? Yep. Um, and oil it and so whoops it's been so good yeah he's just like so calm today he's calm every day now and i think i know why well yesterday he was a bit speedier do you want to take the bridle home to, too no but look at not oiling that. i think we should oil it you can okay let's bring it home and we have to bring home that girth he said that it's drying out we have to oil it too oh so oil everything today I better check out his saddle. So we brought apples today. Well, Finn hasn't had an apple in like years. Yeah, not years, since like this okay. fall. Well, he's already licking his lips. <laughs> he was licking his lips. He's really funny like that. Is that good? He, like if we're eating something, he'll like lick his lips. Watch your fingers. Somebody here got their finger bit off last week. Tip. The fingertip bit off, not by any of the horses here. Careful. 
Finn, Finn doesn't care. Do you love it? See, that's what you get for being such a good boy. Do you guys notice how good Finn is now? You, they did have a fight last night, though, didn't you? But he's but still... Just for the canned drink part. Yeah. Like, I feel like now that he doesn't get any grain with molasses in it, making a big difference for him. Some horses have... <laughs> 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 Give me more! Give me more! <laughs> Get close enough, he'll lick your face. <laughs> My guess is he liked it. Storm knows! <laughs> He's like, thank you! No, Finn. Finn, no. you already had one. <laughs> it kills me when they chew. <laughs> Give it to me. Our horses know, our boys know enough to behave in the field. Go oh, slow, Stormy. Are you ready? Watch your fingers. Good boy. Hey, Finn. Finn, you take half? Half. I think that's a pretty good half. Half. <laughs> They're like, yeah. it's Christmas. We haven't given them apples in a really long time. Okay, that's it. I had no more. Good boy. Sure. Come on! We got treats! Come on! Hmm. Should I go or should I stay? He's like, nobody else is going. Come on! Treats! Come on! Come on, the mares are piling up. The mares are piling up, Chino. You better come quick. Yeah, now they're all gonna come. Like yaws. Tomorrow night we have to. Tomorrow we have to change their blankets. Ooh. Be careful. Uh, Go slow with him because he's not even taking a bite. <laughs> he just takes the whole thing. Oh, Don't do that. Uh, do I just... yeah. Let's wait. What do you think? Is it good? Do you like it? He's such a slow horse. Like. His eyes move slow, his body moves slow, his mouth usually <laughs> moves slow, moving fast now. The mares are piling up. I know. So I. your new girlfriend? I'd rather he bite it. Yeah. Let's let him bite it. He's, <laughs> he's moving fast now. He's awake now. Right, take a bite. A bite. Good boy. No, no, no. <gasps> oh, I don't like that. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Apples like, are yeah, dangerous. I'd rather I'd rather cut them up for a horse that like our horses are trained to bite them. He's gonna bite now. <laughs> it's so good. We brought that for you. Does his nose kinda look like um Here comes Gidget, Mom. like a Roman nose a little? Like he kinda has a bit of a Roman Good nose. You, Gidget. That horse over there is in heat and he's been loving on her. He's yeah. been looking at her. No, they were standing. Should I get her? Hi. All right. Hi, buddy. We're leaving. That's it. That's all you get. Are you, you going to walk with Mel Sassy? That's his, one of his women. <laughs> you just Horses are funny. Number one. All right, let's go home. Okay. Bye. I always like to make their lives a little bit happier every time we come. Okay. Gabby and I are having a fight. First fight since she's been back. Okay, so basically, I have to find I've my keys. She's been back for one hour. What? She's been back for one day, and we're already having our first fight. So basically, in the past, Gabby feels the rule has always been what? It is the rule. Okay. It is the rule. You have your keys. Yes, I have my keys. The rule is that the oldest kid gets to sit in the front seat. But. But. Two. Years younger. Yeah. In the past, it's been kind of like, basically, if Sophie never gets to sit in the front seat until Gabby grows up and gets married and moves out and goes to school, then Sophie's never gonna get to sit in the front seat till she's 27, till she's 18. I don't know. I think we should split it up. In some families, I think so. In some families, they say shotgun, and whoever says it first wins. Shotgun. <laughs> I'm already sitting here, so you can't do that. So yeah, this is the first time we've ever come up to this problem because when my boys were young, I didn't drive when they were really little, like this age. So 
um, yeah, we didn't have that problem, but now we have that problem because Gabby wants to always be in the front. Sophie used to always be scared to be in the front. I am always in the front. <laughs> so Gabby's always been in the front? Ew, our car smells like gas. I smell gas everywhere. Anyway, hopefully we don't blow up. Whoever sits in the front blows up first. No. Yep. <laughs> it's kidding. No, oh, it's true. All right, so anyway, whoever sits in the front is most likely to die. <laughs> Have you seen all the movies? Whenever you get into a car crash, the front people die. Yeah. Still want to sit in the front, Sophie? No. <laughs> well played, Gabby. Well played. It's true in movies, though. Every single movie, you either break something or die. All right, so today is Friday and it is tack haul day. And when you have six horses or five in one horse, um, tack hauls look like this grain. And shavings, yeah, that, that's what our tack holes look like. That is what our tack holes look like now. All right, so we got one bag of grain, two bags of grain, and then I got four shavings, and then I got this. This. This is what I really want to show you. Whew, okay, so today's episode of our tack haul, <laughs> our, our, our horrible, boring tack haul, the cost today, this week, was $193. $193 of all consumable. It's grain, shavings, stuff we need, but I want to show you this. This is Chino's new food. It's 80 day supplies, supply, probably less. Costs around $100. It's called Ultimate Finish 100. And do you know what this is gonna do? Make him fatter. Yeah. So basically, it says it's 100% vegetable fat. I don't want vegetable fat. I don't know, maybe I want vegetable fat. It sounds like vegetable oil, which I don't think I want. But anyway, basically, Chino's an appendix, and you know what thoroughbreds are like. Half thoroughbred and half uh, quarter horse. So he really takes after the thoroughbred side and is a really hard keeper. He's one of those horses that you spend $5 million feeding every year is guaranteed you put like a couple scoops on top of their food every single day and then poof they build up i know he needs to build up some lips some muscle but he also needs some fat he's just really hard you put him in front of a round bale which he is on a round bale and he still doesn't gain weight he i mean it's also winter so hopefully we won't need it in the summer another really good thing about that stuff is that um when you go to shows for horses like don't eat when you go to shows because they're a stress case put that on their food they love the taste of it and they will eat it and you don't have trouble with them eating at shows so yeah that is the new thing for us all right now we need to get food stuff these are for our horses they love apples i'm going to ladies night again and i'm supposed to bring the dessert and i just did not have time to bake so it's squares some of these squares a variety of these squares i think i'm going to get this 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 and cookies you need new shampoo oh, gabby went away for the weekend gabby went away for the weekend and came back a uh, princess those are for the party tonight no party tonight no so tomorrow we're doing brooklyn's birthday special surprise it's going to be epic you're not going to want to miss it gabby's going to miss it because she is going to jump school if you're an og member then you know what jump school is it's going to be amazing i'm going to try and get somebody to video it gabby needs food for jump school what about this i'm getting this oh my gosh